Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs. Zombies. This is level 4, one of the adventure. We are getting close to the end of the game. But at the same time, I don't want to say that because these last several levels go by pretty slowly compared to the earlier ones. You know, they used to call me Fog Man, because I would hang out in the fog and jump out at people. Oh, those were the days. Why'd you put on a red shirt and scream Kool-Aid? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. That was mean. So now that we're back to night levels, we have the mushrooms available to us again. So you're definitely going to keep your essentials, which will be this, this, and this. And aside from, and the lily pad. Um, yeah, so that's four essentials right there. So you better have at least seven slots. you got at least three other things you can do. The twin sunflower would be nice, but I'm telling you, that one extra slot... I don't know. We'll take this for a precaution. And just for emergencies, what else? We'll take the squash. We'll take the tall nut. We still have nothing offensive at all except for the mushrooms, so we better... Oh, man. I think I'd rather take the dual shooter. Oh, and guess what else? We got fog in these levels. That's just great. That is just lovely. So now, literally, you won't be able to see anything that's going on under the fog. So, you can't control any of it until... I mean, you can still plant plants down there as if you could see it, but you just won't be able to see what you're doing. Like, see, I have to plant a mushroom here, and you can kind of barely see that one. You also have sea mushrooms for the water. Neither of these cost any sun, so they're going to be your only defense until, once again, until you get sun established. Then you can start doing other stuff. See this zombie down here? I couldn't see him until he was way up on top of me, so now I'm going to rearrange my face, the face of my yard. Get this guy out of here. Hopefully we can kill him before he takes out one of the mushrooms. Thank you. And once again, just keep a very close eye on these so that you can replant them when you need to. I've had many times where I've skipped on these water mushrooms and paid the price heavily later on. It doesn't seem like, you know, it's just two rows, so you could do something else with those rows, but no, you really should have the sea shrooms. Because if you ain't got them, you ain't got nothing for a long time. Even if there are no zombies in the water for a while, you still... You want to try to keep your defenses up. Oh, jeez, I'm not planting sunflowers, man. I'm not paying attention. Uh, you can see that you can see them above the clouds here on the first row. That's kind of funny. Uh, oh no. Okay, that sound you hear right there—that's actually a jack-in-the-box zombie. And uh, eventually, he'll explode and pretty much destroy everything around him. So, um, you kind of don't want that to happen, but at the same time, I think I'd rather... Oh, boy. Yeah, see? All those are gone now. All those flowers I planted are gone. You just destroyed them all. That rat bastard. Well, let's keep with the sunflowers. Get some lily pads going here. Get some lily pads going here. You got so much to keep track of, you know? The sun, and these here, and both kinds of mushrooms, and any zombies that get in the way, and just whatever. Yeah, they're coming through. They're coming through! 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 through. Got two more mushrooms to put out here. And that's a cone head down there, so that's not good. Put some mushrooms out. Just anything right now, you know. Now, eventually, you will get flowers that can cut through the fog and enable you to see. So don't fret about the fog too much when you first see it. It's not that huge of a deal. You will be able to manage it somehow. There's one flower in particular that's really good against it, but you got to remember to pick that flower, otherwise... And I always pick it, because I honestly can't stand not being able to see what I'm doing. I can't stand it. Like, the fog, that is my, that's my biggest obstacle in this game. It is just so... Uh, you know what? Here. I should have used that on that guy, I guess. Here. Wait, no, I can't use a squash. Boom! Well, he wasn't surrounding too many things. And at least he destroys himself in the process, so there is that, I guess. And this guy's coming up fast. Flag zombie, what the hell, dude? 
Seriously? Seriously? We need to do something else here. Here, let's just do that for now. That'll work. I'll at least keep him busy until the mushroom kills him, and meanwhile we can look out for something else. Plus, the fact that I didn't kill him instantly... Okay, here we go, here's one of them. This is not the good one that I was talking about, but it's cheap, and it gets the job done. Lights up an area, letting you see through fog. Well, thank goodness. So now we have five essentials, that is, if you don't like the fog, which I don't. So I'm gonna use it. Smart, so sunflower, that, that. Oh, that, and that. That's your five essentials. Now, now even with the eight-slot upgrade, I only have three slots to choose what I want. We actually managed out pretty well there. Um, I'm pretty much gonna go the same way I did last time. But this leaves it... Well, this is actually all emergency items, though, isn't it? So let's rock! And here we go again. Let's get the sunflower out, get the mushroom out. Let's get everything out as soon as you can. I can't believe I sang through that entire last episode. That was just crazy. That was some crazy mess right there, let me tell you. Do you know what I was thinking, man? I was being craxy. Cranksy, Craxy, Crooksy, Cruxly. But you gotta know what a crumpet is to understand cricket. Sometimes you can tell when the zombie's there before you can see him, because you'll see your mushrooms start spitting at him. And he must be on the bottom row, because I don't see him anywhere else, and that mushroom's not spitting. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Boy, did I call that, or did I call it? Let's get something going there to get rid of him. That's not going to be enough, so we're going to have to use the second one. But in the meanwhile, we shall be, you know, taking care of the rest of things here. Once again, sunflower is more important than lily pads at this point, so just keep planting them on the land that you do have until you have enough to generate sun faster before you start spending it on other things besides sunflowers. It's just all about, you know, investing faster and sooner, the sooner you do it better off you are. I could actually play around and put out a... Um, put out a lamp. But I, I very much prefer to put those out protected. As in, like, you know, put them out with a tall nut or something in front of them. Well, I guess it doesn't matter now, because I don't have any tall nuts, so... So we know there's a zombie on that row. What I'll probably do is put it out on the water. Even though, actually, I'm not so sure about that. Let's pick up our sun. Plant some more shrooms here. So we can figure out what our strategy is. Here we go. Let's put in a, a reaper. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say a reaper. Something's getting eaten, and you can't see what it is. That's the scary part. So, uh, no sun. Okay, here we go. See, that actually covers a pretty good area right there. But now he's totally vulnerable, and he'll get eaten, so... So it's advisable to have a pretty good defense. I should have put him on the third square, but... Oh, too late now, right? If I would have put him in the middle, or if I had put him in the middle, the situation would be a lot better, but at least now we can kind of see what we're doing in the water here. And yeah, just take it from there. Take it from there, maestro! Sometimes you have to click around to find an empty square. As you can see, these guys are very slow to recharge, too, but it's rightfully so, considering, you know, there's only two rows to put them in, so, so it's not too much of a problem. We'll put a lily pad here and uh, another mushroom on top of it. I don't know why I did that. I have no idea, honestly. Just to keep them busy for a little bit, so they wouldn't eat my mushroom. My mushrooms, my mush booms. Well, I guess all things considered, this lamp is lasting a pretty good long time here. Put another mushroom in front of him so we have some kind of warning. And put another lamp out as far as that goes. And then we'll just put this in front of him. So that'll take care of two zombies right there. Nope, the bad guy won. But evil will always win because good is dumb. Keep them rolling. <laughs> like I said, I, I may be even more abusive of the mushrooms on these levels than I am normally. Just because...
because I, I get panicky when I can't see what I'm doing. You know, it's just like, ugh. Yeah, let's do that right there, and then... Mushrooms barely kept it busy, now the light's gonna go out. Thankfully, they're nice and cheap, so you just set another one right up. Now this guy's gonna blow up my light. That stupid ba- Oh, no he didn't! He actually got killed! Oh, lucky me. Let's go ahead and get some more. Oh, no, we don't have enough sun yet. I'm not planting my sunflowers, man! I'm being so slacky today with the sunflowers. What is up with me? This is only level 4, too, and, like, things are going really slowly here. As I said, I mean, at least the zombies themselves are fairly easy, considering the circumstances, but pretty soon you're gonna be fighting levels like we were earlier with these conditions, so... It's gonna be like, what? Ooh, like, what the hell, man? The dealio is... Put another one there, right in front of a zombie, so he gets eaten right away. <laughs> Thank goodness they're so cheap. I forgot to consider that, you know. That they, and they do take a while to recharge, obviously, so... <laughs> I'm gonna put a repeater out. Doo -doo, these night levels are so hard to get sun on these levels. You wouldn't think that the sun falling from the sky would make such a huge difference, but it does. I'm gonna point now, I'm just like sick of putting out mushrooms. I just wanna use something else, do something else. Yeah, your cone was still fresh. That was not good. Something is getting eaten back there, and I don't know what it is. I'm gonna take a chance and put... Oh, no, no sun. Eh. Okay, that works. That's actually good enough, because you can still see the ones on the bottom row, and this is gonna have to change. <laughs> A huge wave of zombies is approaching! Uh, do, 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 do. I should dig up this mushroom right here. I got no use for it anymore. Uh, well, I might as well put these out. <clears throat> See what happens, because I don't know, man. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Let's take care of this guy right here. Splish! We got ourselves a problematic here. A problematic here. I use problematic as every other f form of word other than what it actually is. Uh, should we uh, hypnotize the cone head, or is he gonna? No, it hypnotized the wrong zombie. I was hoping it would get the other one. Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, man, I didn't even think about this one yet. Uh, now we gotta put these in here, because these shoot spikes that can pop balloons. If you don't... Do we have balloon zombies on this level? Yeah, we do. And the only thing that can get rid of balloon zombies is this guy right here. It's the only thing. Otherwise, they'll float over everything, straight over everything. And it's an instant game over, so you have to have those now. You have to have everything, I tell you. Now we got two slots to play around with. What are we gonna do? Oh, well, just pretty much what we did last time, I guess. I mean, we got the mushrooms for defense, so you can still play around. We got our... I almost want to put this in instead, but no, we, we haven't really needed it. So I think we're okay, and the fog is back again. You could just play with the fog and just deal with it. Sometimes I do that. But... I tell you, I hate it. I hate playing with fog. I just don't want to. I don't want to play with fog. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Because if I'm blind, then I'm bad. Haven't you seen my Conqueror's LP? You should know by now. Just whatever. Ah. Okay, Sunflower. Sunflower's good. Sunflower is very good. And, but then, I guess you probably knew that by now. Oh my god. This is the worst commentary you've ever heard in your life. Sure it is. Regardless of what you've actually heard in your life, which I couldn't possibly know, I can still pretty much ascertain that this is the worst thing you've heard. Just basically by the process, by the logic that zero is less than any other number, so therefore, they're whore. You know, anyway. <laughs> 
sometimes I do that when I don't want people to be to be able to read my lips. So instead of saying therefore, I'll say there whore. <clears throat> like to myself, I'll be whispering. And the reason for that is because if they see me making the F sound, they'll think I'm saying the F word about them or something like stop fucking looking over here or whatever. You know. So and I don't want them to see me making the F sound, so I say their whore instead of their four. I mean I know that sounds like convoluted logic, but I mean that's the kind of thing I do. It's how paranoid I am. About being about people seeing what I'm doing. You know, people get all up in arms because somebody has a camera. They're like, get that out of my face. It's like, what's the difference between someone watching you on the camera and someone just watching you as you walk around the mall? You know, people can see what you're doing there, but you don't mind that. And see, that's my problem. See, I have a problem with, like, you know, anxiety and stuff. You know, when people look at me in the eyes, and yet nobody seems to have a problem with that. And yet when, when they see a camera, then they get all scared. And it's like, well, that's how I feel all the time when people are looking at me. And that's how you should feel all the time, because you're so scared of someone seeing you on a camera, yet you're not scared of them seeing you right face-to-face, -face, real life, where they can hoist the expectations on you right then and there. You know, that's what you should be scared of. You know, it's like you're never going to meet any of the people who see you on this thing. It's like, you know, you're in the background of some video or something. It's not like somebody's going to come up on the video and say, Hey, I know that person. They killed my father. Prepare to die. And come at you with a sword or something. I mean, I don't know. I just don't see why people get so worried about being seen. I mean, I, I understand the whole privacy thing, but it's like... <laughs> privacy is... Oh, shit! Shit, shit, shit! I'm dead. I'm dead. Unless... Oh, oh. You gotta be kidding me. He, he would've flown over the lawnmower, too. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I think he would've flown over the lawnmower. Holy crap. Oh man, it's a lucky thing I had enough sun. Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention there. Jeez Louise, man. That's why I hate these levels. You can't see what's going on until it's too late. Um, here we'll put this right there. Just to keep that protected. And uh, go ahead and put this out. Put this out. Thank god for these mushrooms, because you wouldn't be able to do this without these mushrooms. I'll tell you that right now. There ain't no way. You should have put a squash in front of it. In front of that light, I mean. Oh no, here comes the army. <laughs> There's the mushroom guy, let's go ahead and take care of him. Let's just leave him there. I, I probably should have left this one down here, like I had earlier. It's just I'm not a big fan of them because they don't do any more damage than a normal pea shooter does, even though their projectiles look more dangerous. It's really, I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the same damage as a normal pea shooter. We can watch in a second here and see how much it actually does, but. Oh, shit. We are in a world of hurt here. Okay, thank god he took out two of them. Um, yeah, your water is the hardest, you know, the hardest thing to defend, because uh, what can you really do, you know? I mean, all you can do is put up stuff and hope that it... <laughs> yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Um, unless my squash re fills fast enough, then maybe I can get one out. Shit, but then I got this guy here. I thought hypnotizing the other one would have killed him, but no. Okay then, so uh, that rose is screwed. We well, still haven't died yet. Okay, here we go, this thing. I like this thing. Because not only does it blow away all the fog on the screen, it only does it temporarily, but it also blows away the balloon zombies. So that takes care of two, that's two flowers and one right there. So now, all of a sudden, we don't have to worry. We don't have to use this anymore, and we don't have to use this anymore, because this is like both of those put together. And it's only 100, so... Basically, you plant it, it does its thing, it blows the fog away, it blows the balloon zombies away, and then it disappears. So it's only a temporary um, flower, but again, it serves a dual purpose, which opens up another slot for me to play around with some other stuff. And I will be playing around with some other stuff here. We'll try cherry bombs this time, and how about chompers? This is kind of a high maintenance uh, setup, but we're gonna go with it and see what happens. <coughs> yeah, because we do have the kelp, but that's recharges pretty slowly, so can't be relying on that to take care of everything. To take care of the everything. And once again, even though this is nice, uh, Blover, I love that name too. <laughs> 
Even though those flowers are nice, the fog only blows away temporarily, so you'll have to use it again when the fog comes back. Typically what I'll do is wait until I see a balloon zombie and fog at the same time, and then use it, so that way I'm getting both... Because if I blow away the fog, and then five seconds later a balloon zombie comes out, then I gotta use it again, so... It's better if you can try to get both of them with one. But there's no way, sometimes there's just no way of knowing that there is a balloon zombie, you know, if you let the fog come back out and then wait for the balloon zombie. So you might see a balloon zombie and just wait for the fog, see the balloon zombie, you can let him get like halfway across the screen, and then when the fog starts coming in, then put the flower down. And pretty much regardless of where you put the flower on the screen, like if you put it out here somewhere, and the zombie's back here, it wouldn't make sense that it could blow it away, but it still will. It pretty much blows everything off the screen. It's major destruction all around. And I'm not protecting my water! This is level 4-4. It's gonna be kind of a long video, I think. We're kind of... Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Do this. Ooh, money, money. We almost have 5,000. We'll be ready to get those uh, Gatling peas here pretty soon. Uh, if there was any other way I could make money. I'm guessing you could probably pay, play the mini games again off screen. Like play them a second time and get the money again. I'm not sure if it'll let me do that, but it might be a thing to be worth trying. If it's only if I only needed a thousand more dollars, then why not, right? That's what Conquer would do, right? Jeez. Put some kelp out here. Just to keep the water uh you know, keep the water defense going. Wait, why are you not planting sunflowers, Tim? You're a slacker! I remember your father when he went here. He was a slacker, too. You know, no bishop ever amounted to anything in the history of Mino, Wisconsin. Yeah, well, you know what? History's gonna change. You tell that asshole. Who am I even talking to? Jeez, I don't even know. I'm talking to 113... 139,000 people. Probably by the time this video goes up, it's gonna be like 140,000. Or actually more... And more accurately, like 141 or something. So now I have enough for the blover, but I'm gonna hold off for a minute until I can get more sun out here. Yeah, I was planting like eight or nine sunflowers every time before. I don't know why I stopped doing that, because that was helping a lot. I mean, we've had a shortage of sun. That was a problem in the previous level, so we don't want that to be a problem again. It's just trying to remember to plant the sunflowers is the biggest thing. Or to keep track of all this back here when you're trying to watch what's going on up here. You gotta keep your eyes on both sides of the screen at the same time. We can put this out, I guess. Just to be doing something. Oh, not enough sun. Well, we do now. That should be enough, I think, Tim. Aha, I gotcha. I'm really anxious to see what's going on out there. So, but even being able to see it, you won't necessarily be able to change it, but let's go ahead and have a look. All that fog is gone, yay! It only stays gone for a short time, so, you know, it's, we're gonna have to re-add, or we're gonna have to re-blow in a short time, but, you know, let's see, there we go. I think my defenses on the bottom are a little lackadaisical, but, but it doesn't take too long to put down a thing if you need to. Now, see, there's a balloon zombie right there, so I could blow him away if I wanted to, but I'm gonna wait until the fog comes all the way back out. So that way the timer doesn't start till that much later. And here we go. Boom! Away with you, balloon zombies. You suck. You suck my royal thing. There we go. Oh, we'll put that there. Uh, that was stupid, but uh, well, what can you do? Well, there's another one right there. Jeez. So yeah, so always have 100 sun on hand. You know, in case one of those things shows up. Oh, great. Now we got... Oh, wait. Don't do that. Wait. Oh, no. Let's... Two. Oh, shoot. You took the wrong one. Dude. Crap. What did he just jump over there? Oh, great. Eat my sunflower. See if I care. Okay. Uh, that presented a bit of a problem. See the balloon zombie right there. So, yeah. Let's just put some chompers out so we don't have to later. And we'll just have a solid stream of rows there. We were almost short on sun for the blover, but nope. I made it work. So shoot, man, I guess I should have put this out a little sooner. Oh, that's okay. 
Ah, uh, get yourself eaten. Eat your ass up. That's right. I'm gonna put this out here, why not, huh? I don't know if the plants can eat the balloon zombies. I don't think they can reach them. It'd be pretty rad if they could, but uh, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting my hopes up. Here comes the fog again. Crawling on my yard like a zombie fuck. Okay, there we go. Well, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we going to use on this? I don't have my squash this time. I missed that squash right about now. I do have cherry bombs, though. And I got no use for these freaking mushrooms anymore. I hate using a cherry bomb. I hate using a cherry bomb to kill one zombie. Especially when I could spend 150 on a permanent plant. That's still gonna be there, you know, when the next one comes along. Yeah, I hate to lose my kelp, too, since it takes so long to build another one. But, sometimes you just have to make tough decisions like that. That's part of the job training, you know. Part of the job description. This guy is going to be a problem unless I do something about it. Yeah. I don't want to lose these guys here. That's pretty much all the defense I got for row three. Uh, here comes another balloon. Once again, we'll wait for the fog to come out so we can get them both. I mean, I'm pretty sure even if you put a blover out when there was no fog, it would just restart the fog timer. So you'd get to have no fog for, you know, another 30 seconds or something when it would normally be 60 seconds or whatever. And goodbye. There you go. Chomp. Eat up, good man. We could put more mushrooms out, but wow, what's the point? Yeah, they're not gonna do enough damage to kill them. Of course, nothing's gonna do enough damage to kill them, really. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, it will eventually. I mean, it's, oh, well, I don't know. Maybe it will. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, what other defense do you have, really? It's just that they don't. I don't know if they will do enough to actually kill them. Boom. Well, he got the mushroom, and yet the plant still had to eat him. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Once again, I'm waiting on these zombies to come out, just in case one of them is a balloon zombie. Uh, well, you know what? Never mind, never mind. Holy crap. This is where it gets hairy, I'm telling you. These levels, they suddenly they throw this stuff at you. And you, you don't even know that it's there. And next thing you know, bam. Next thing you know, bam. And you better hope you are one, because... Uh, <laughs> well, now he's just gonna get eaten. Why did I do that? That was kind of stupid. Now we can put this here. Not that it's gonna make a difference. Let's put another one out. Let's go ahead and blow the fog away. Here, go ahead, eat him up. See if I care. This plant right here will get you, so it doesn't matter. So we'll be collecting sun while you're off holding your next wave back. <laughs> oh, guess what? It's a taco. Taco time. Oh, man. Let us see. You found a taco. What are you going to do with a taco? You found my magic taco. I must have it. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Hell yeah. That puts us to five thousand. Why did I give you so much money for a taco? Because I'm crazy! Take a look around my shop. You'll notice I got some new items in stock. Okay. These are cattails. Probably the most broken item in the game. Um, I'll explain more on those later. Actually, there may never be another time to show them to you, though. So basically, you plant this on a lily pad. And they take down balloon zombies. They take down everything. You plant this one single flower on a lily pad. And it'll shoot any zombie in any lane. And it shoots fast, too. So, like, you can put one down, and it'll take you halfway into the round. And you don't have to do anything at all. This here is also an extremely powerful item that you plant on top of the big shrooms that shoot through screen doors. And this will make it shoot out in eight directions, short range. But it's extremely powerful. It hits, like, two or three times in a second. And these are Gatling peas, which I will buy. Because I can afford it. And I'm nowhere near being able to afford that. So, we'll get the rake again. Because what else are you going to do, you know? You got $200, $220. Oh, guess what? It's the next level. Well, next time on Plants vs. Zombies, I guess we're going to do this. Yet again, it's another minigame style fifth level. These fifth levels are always original like this, though. So, next time 
on Plants vs. Zombies. We do level 4 or 5. See you guys later. Sorry again for the long video, but I haven't figured out how I'm doing this yet, so... And I'm almost done, and I haven't figured out how I'm doing this yet. That's me for you. See ya.